To all the non-believers, including myself, I think this is one of those times where I'm actually like, there's a God somewhere. But with the news we just received, think, you know, there is a God after all. I'm throwing a party and everyone who's watching is invited. Long story short, there was this YouTuber called Natty Forsyth, aka Natty Foreskin, who got exposed for being just a really weird individual. Just a disgusting freak. You did stream in your underwear to fans that were most likely almost entirely minors, right? Just to like fully confirm, you did. Um, I, like I've already stated, I believe that Creecraft would have more minor fans. No, 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 I, no, I know, I, I know, but you did, you did, audience. you did. Well, I mean, teen is still minors, right? I've already said a few, I've already said but, a few times that. No, no, uh, I know, I know, I know. Like, but yeah, there would just, definitely be kids watching. You confirm, right? You confirm that you streamed in your underwear to fans that were most likely under the age of 18. Yeah. Okay. And today I saw this post on Twitter and it made my day. The YouTube channel has been deleted. This may mark the end of the career of one of Roblox YouTube's sickest and most elusive weirdos ever. They have said multiple times that they're broke, that they need money, and now because they're freaks, they can't do YouTube anymore because no one would click on their videos. And I wonder why. And then I saw this post on Twitter. So shout out to this guy for having it because I completely missed it. This was posted about a week before. Let's celebrate the fact that this guy will never have the opportunity opportunity to do anything weird like this i'm talking underwear streams i'm talking sending disturbing videos to discords full of minors oh, and everything else they've done so we gotta celebrate that we gotta acknowledge that i'm so glad they're gone the internet is clearly not a good place for them i'm leaving the internet for my own mental health extremely rare natty w before i do something permanent i'm not doing good more videos may come out about me much of what people say about me is disingenuous okay let's stop the cap here natty be honest for once how can could you see nothing wrong with sending disgusting videos to minors? How can you not see anything wrong with seeing a girl on Discord and be like, oh my god, that's a girl. Uh, let me add her on Discord and let me ask her for unique pictures while sending unique pictures, you know? It's weird. It's degenerate, disgusting, mentally ill, loser energy. He will never have a career again. There's no escaping this and the best thing you can do is leave the internet for good. There's no coming back from this. I also made mistakes that were my own fault along the way. I've been beating myself over my past for nearly five to six years now and i think it might literally end me i'm not saying this applies to natty but you guys know how i feel about you know pdf files i don't have sympathy for them if mr cupcake die, i will not care if anyone else died who's a creep confirmed creep i will not care i've booked therapy appointments and i'm trying my best to beat my depression and then if i can do that i can get my life together a little more i live in regret day after day and posting to this youtube channel isn't good for my mental health i am leaving social media like like Natty has been a struggling YouTuber for the last three years. And if you search Natty Foreskin, of course, his YouTube channel is not there. You know, there's my video. <laughs> I think I could take out the question mark now. And then there's this video, Natty Foreskin finally ends his career with his underwear sleep stream. I, I haven't seen that video. I've heard of the snippets and I've seen some tweets talking about this. Let's just call it what it is. Natty's a fucking weirdo. And not being weird by, oh, I like anime. Someone who definitely goes around taking pictures of girls when they're wearing a skirt. That kind of vibe. That's what I get from him. So no bueno, no bueno energy right here, guys. Regardless of anything, the labels people use for me are inaccurate. I have been legally investigated, you know, same old shit. The more I stay, the more depressed I become and the more time I waste not being in therapy. If you supported me at any point, thank you. If you think less of me because of the videos you've seen about me, I understand. If I let you down, I'm sorry. I can't change anything in the past and words mean nothing. Please do not defend me where I could have done better to avoid getting in such a situation in the first place. And I wish I could say I feel bad for them, but then I think about everything he's done and everything he sent and how he's acted before and the stuff he's defended the fact that he's friends with Jalen who we all know who that person is and who's friends with other people who are pretty disgusting but I think it's an extremely rare Natty W to realize yeah this is not good for me I should not be here I can't feel bad for people like this people who've done this over and over and over and over and over again at what point is it enough the fact that he was doing all of this meanwhile being a Roblox youtuber which is a kids entertainment Container. like his fan base was young and anyone would have guessed oh yeah shit i make roblox video and i interact with them and now i'm having their snapchat how old could they be 9 10 11 12 13 years old when you're 18 know your fucking audience dude how do you not read the room and be like you know what if i send explicit messages there's a high chance that a little kid might see it you would think that would be common sense but not to natty <laughs> 
<laughs> he just sends the pictures and uh, just to confirm yeah you know you search him up you search by filters by channel and is he there no 94 said there's nowhere to be found thank god not to be funny here but i do think the planet and the universe <laughs> okay maybe i'm being funny but <laughs> <laughs> but I do think kids everywhere are smiling. They're like, yes, I can finally go back to making Roblox content and join Discord and not be DM'd by Natty Forsyth for the million time. No, I will not watch your videos. <laughs> One of those videos where it's okay to spam the party emoji, the taco emoji. Let's make a carne asada. Let's, uh, I mean, carne asada. I don't know why I sound so fucking white. Let's make a carne, let's make, <laughs> let's make a carne asada. Let's fucking eat tacos. Let's have fun because they're gone. It's over. Best of luck actually i don't know if i want to say best of luck to you because i only say that to people that i kind of like so you know good call finally leaving the internet and not to some redundant but hopefully we will never ever see anyone this creepy one of the most and biggest creeps weirdos on the roblox community and i'm just glad it's finally over i'm so fucking happy we won guys we won with that said what do you guys think of the situation are you happy are you sad are you gonna miss his amazing roblox commentary uh let me know in the comments below <laughs> i love you guys take care thank you for watching and have a great weekend i'm gonna head out peace